So now we will be solving the most important part of the chapters that is the application of Fourier transform to solve partial differential equation. Okay, as we have seen uh, Fourier sine transform, Fourier cosine transform and Fourier transform. So now we would be confused as to which Fourier transform to use for solving this question. Okay, this totally depends on the boundary condition that are given. Okay, these are known as the boundary conditions. Okay, if it is written that uh, the uh, condition, uh, if it is in unbounded region that is from minus infinity to infinity, then we use Fourier transform. Okay, but over here it is a uh, boundary conditions are given that is u of 0 comma t is 0. So now we need to find where uh, we have u of 0 comma t. We have that in Fourier sine transform. So we would be using Fourier sine transform for solving this question. Okay. So now applying Fourier sine transform on both the, both side we get Fourier transform of Fourier sine transform of del u by del t equals to Fourier trans for, uh, Fourier sine transform of del square u by del t square. Okay. So now applying seeing the formula list Fourier transform uh, Fourier sine transform of del u by del t is simply del into u. Fourier transform uh, Fourier sin, sin transform of u upon del t which is equal to under root 2 pi pi s into u of 0 comma t minus s square into u s. As the, uh, u of 0 comma t is equals to 0 then this whole term is 0. Okay. So we have been left with u of s comma t upon del t is equal to minus square into us okay so now uh, we would be integrating it okay now we would be integrating it we get ln us is equal to minus square t so us is equal to e raised to power minus square t uh, while well, uh, integrating it, we get a constant A uh, or C. Let's suppose we can uh, write it as A. So now our main aim would be to find A. So for finding A, do we have any other con condition in the question? Oh yes, we do have. We have u of x comma 0 as this. Okay. So now we will be solving it for getting the value of A. Okay. Now you can see that u of x comma 0. So let us first find uh, u of s at x comma 0. It is equal to a into e raised to power minus s square t value is 0 so into 0. Anything raised to power 0 is 1. So this is we get as a. Okay. Now our aim is to find u of s at x comma 0. So, we would be using this definition for finding u of s. Okay. So, u of s is equal to, we would be using the formula of Fourier sine transform under root 2 by pi. Integration from 0 to infinity u of x into sin sx into dx okay so uh, we have the uh, value of function as 1 only for the range from 0 to 1 rest it is 0 so we would be just writing it as 0 to 1 sin sx into dx now just integrating it we get under root 2 pi pi minus cos sx upon s okay now just substituting the limit we get under root 2 by pi 1 upon s into minus cos x cos s plus 1 which is equal to a as we have found it from this thing okay so this is the value of a so our final term for us would be 
under root 2 by pi this is us at x comma 0 okay so 1 upon s minus cos s plus 1 into e raised to power minus s square t okay now we need to take the inverse Fourier transform of this whole term okay for finding u of x comma t so just substituting it in the formula of u inverse Fourier sine transform okay as we have done uh, sine transform while taking inverse we also need to apply the sine transform Fourier inverse Fourier tra sine transform 0 to infinite under root 2 by pi 1 upon s into 1 minus cos s sin sx dx okay we can leave this in uh, this uh, this form only because sometimes the integration get so complicated okay so uh, we can leave this u of x comma t in this form so this becomes the solution of our question where we need to find u of x comma t okay